Could it be lethargic? Well, guess what? Well, they're playing Dom Capers, Houston Texans, who won a big game last week. Jonathan Wells, it's a fumble. Chad Bransky recovers for Indy. I think Indy's getting the message and the feel for Tony Dungy. These they're days. starting to improve defensively, and you see it every single week. Well, they've, they've improved by like 12, 13 points a game. And here's Frank Murphy with a fumble. I, he never, he, he can't dribble. I know Indiana's a good basketball state, but it's not the place to dribble a football. Next play, the Colts say thank you very much. Peyton Manning, who threw for under 200 today. Very controlled. You know, he's not trying to make the perfect play. Nice dunk by Marcus Pollard. 10 0 C O L T S. 13 0 Colts, fourth quarter. Edgerin James out. James Mungro Jerry. Mungro Jimmy comes in. He's played well in relief, Tom. Yeah, M M Mungro comes in. He runs the ball straight up the field. And the thing that you love, and you saw it right there on those two runs, boy, does he protect the football. Mungro loves to run. <laughs> then Manning to Reggie Wayne. Stately Wayne Manor. He loses the football. Aaron Glenn picks it up. Wayne will down by contact. Tony Dunn uses five. <laughs> Mungro Jimmy with a touchdown. And the Colts, big fancy, they take care of exactly what they have to take care of, and they beat the Texans 19-3. They won four in a row now. They're 8-4. Peyton Manning and the Colts in Tennessee next week, which will be a holy war in the Volunteers. And I, I say this because it's difficult. Beat the teams you're supposed to beat. Well, and the Colts go into Tennessee with a one-game lead on a tight